You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. To complete Big IP LTM lab topology, we need some web servers behind LTM device to be used in LTM load balancing scenarios. And in this section, we are going to show how we use SLITAS, a lightweight Linux operating system as web servers. This is the lab topology that we initialized and configured in the previous section a management interface with an IP address in the range of 1, 0 slash 24 and IP address 186 and external interface with a range of 2, 0 slash 24 and with IP address 186 and inside or internal interface in the range of 10, 0 slash 24 and with the IP address 10, 1. However, to configure and test different load balancing scenarios we need some servers behind big ip ltm to be used during the course we prepare three web servers with ip address 111 112 and 113 that can be accessed via big ip ltm load balancer and a virtual ip address as recommended by f5 community we use lightweight linux operating system slitas for the web servers and in this section we will learn how to prepare these small web servers to prepare lightweight web servers we first need to download the slitas linux operating system slitas.org slash en slash get is the original source to download slitas image file but the vmware ovf version of slitas according to f5 community can be downloaded from this website which i've already downloaded slitas version 4.zip the downloaded zip file contains three files ovf vmdk and mf files that we use to load slitas into vmware es6 environment i've already imported three slitas in my vmware es6 environment and configured and prepared for the web servers but just to show you i will import once again the ovf and configure the web servers vm create vm and from the ovf slitas test for example here I choose OVF and VMDK file and then next in the data store and which virtual port group which can be different according to your topology and then finish. It takes some time to be loaded. SLDOS test is already imported. We turn it on. It is already turned on automatically. After OVF is imported into the VMware ES6 environment, we need to change the IP address of the virtual machine and also configure a sample web page for the pre configured web server to log in. To the slitas virtual machine the default password of the root user is root and also the username vmware with the password vmware is pre-configured for ssh access let's log in with the vmware user vmware and also the password vmware right click on the desktop and then in the favorite applications and the terminal you can access the terminal to change the IP address and to check the IP address with su dash we change the access to the root user with the password root and then let's check the IP address 2192 let's access to the putty 2192 and the username vmware password vmware for root access and change the access to the root user and then etc 
network network.conf here we change the IP address of ETH 0 we change from DHCP to static static yes DHCP no the IP address for example to 114 the subnet mask to one is the gateway and to one also for the DNS server or we can change also the configuration of wireless network and save and with the command slash etc init d and network.sh restart you can restart the network service of course you will lose your connectivity because you have changed the IP address we can check here in the console if config the IP address is changed to 2114 and we can access it again through the putty new session and again user VMware and password VMware and if config the new IP address you can also see through the putty interface web server is already also configured in the lightweight Linux operating system we can therefore also access through the web 2114 through the web is also accessible the last step is to change the content of the web page for three web servers I use different HTML code in the past slash var www slash index dot html to load three different web servers with different names and different colors so that I can easily distinguish which of the three servers we are accessing through the LTM virtual IP which is very important to test different load balancing algorithm let's delete for the test web server I will use the name for example web server test and with the color a random color six one eight let's check it connect it to it and check it together again you see this is a web server test with a different color I have already prepared three web servers with, with three different name and different color let's check together in the Ubuntu we can access these three web servers which is in the inside zone One hundred ninety two ten one hundred eleven with the red color web server one one hundred twelve with the color blue and ten one hundred thirteen with the color green. These are three web servers that I have already prepared for our scenarios during the LTM load balancing course.